What's happening, everybody? Welcome back to Sporgo. And today, I thought I'd give you guys my thoughts and impressions of Magic and Magneto and give you an idea as to whether or not you actually should buy the uniform for Magic because, unfortunately, it is locked behind a paywall. And Magneto, you actually got to pay full price for and really try to answer the question as to whether or not is it really worth purchasing now? I think it goes without saying, guys, if you love the characters, if you want to make them the most that they can be, make them the best that they can be, then they're absolutely going to need these uniforms. There's a lot of things about both these uniforms that are actually really really good especially magic and pvp magneto they did quite a few good things for him i mean they definitely increased his leadership from 45 to 50 percent so he gets a little bit of a damage bump there you know uh he has a 20 percent increased energy attack here right he's got the 1.5 percent accumulation which is awesome i mean that's pretty damn sweet the invincibility they also made his skills cancelable i mean he's honestly super super proc friendly and you can even cancel his tier three the uniform is much much smoother to play plus he has a 30 percent heal it's actually really really awesome in his kit he also has snare he has fracture i mean he's got a lot burn guys i mean he's got all these things which pretty much indicates abl and abx and that's really where i think if you're gonna build magneto and you don't you know you're not really worried about him being your favorite character and you just want to make the most out of him you just want to do better in abl and abx i do believe that's going to be the reason to pull for this character because unfortunately for Magneto and even Magic guys, the fact that they're mutants, there isn't really a whole lot of utility for them in World Boss Legend. Yeah, minute places, but there's other characters already in the available in the game that can do those things. So yeah, that's kind of a that's kind of a bummer, unfortunately. And you'll also notice with Magneto when you play with him that yeah, he does have a nice 30% heal. That's awesome. But he doesn't have any decreased damage received in his kit. And because he doesn't have any decreased damage received in his kit, I mean, this here just symbolizes rage right here. Guaranteed critical rate, critical damage increase, right? Chain of damage is nice. But because he doesn't have any decreased damage received in World Boss Legend, man, he takes a lot of damage. I know he's got 3% heal, but guys, he takes a lot of damage. And aesthetically, guys, I'm not really... It's okay, but I really prefer the classic look of Magneto, uh, preferably, at least for me. Um, but he does play very, very smooth and his animations. And again, you know, with these holiday uniforms, guys, the animations are always just top notch. And it, again, like I said earlier with him, you know, being able to cancel his skills like the three, you can cancel the skill immediately and get all the damage from it. You can cancel the four and get all the damage from those missiles. That is insane. And then you can go straight into the five, right? You can do all three of those skills. And if you're really fast, you can actually throw in the two skill which is pretty cool, right? You can go three, two, four, five, and land the proc easily on all of those and help build up your tier four and tier three. And Magneto's tier three is actually cancelable. You can actually immediately cancel this thing, which is pretty damn lit. That is awesome. So, I mean, you see all the, the bus, the train come flying down, right? We'll go ahead and cancel and go straight into the second skill. And as you guys will see, all the damage from the tier three is still going on and on and on. There's the train right there. That's freaking sick. So that's a huge, huge improvement for this. And Magneto's uh, tier four is also pretty damn cool because it does increase his all attack. I think it actually goes up to 80% if I'm not mistaken, but the animations are absolutely gorgeous. Maybe it's 90% his tier four actually goes up to. I can't remember. Uh, what it actually does go up to. But yeah, I think it goes up to 80 or 90%. I can't remember exactly, but this is going to be a big bump for him. It's just damage, guys. There's no extra survivability tool here at all. And then they have Snare in here, which is pretty interesting. So again, it looks like he's pretty much set up and designed for Blast Villain Mail in ABL and ABX. That's where he's really going to shine. So if you're interested in pushing those levels then you're probably going to want to buy this uniform. If you're not interested in pushing those levels, then I don't think you really need it unless you want to get an extra 5% attack. Because if you go into World Boss Legend, guys, I mean, if you're looking at... And PvP is definitely not going to shine there. He doesn't have no air iframe. He doesn't have any decreased damage received. So he's not going to be very good there at all. But I mean, against Null, guys, like, you know, you got Super Villain. I mean, Stage 35, guys, there's plenty of other characters that can do this already. There's plenty of them. And you got Black Bolt, you got Namor, you got Hog. I mean, all these characters have level 80s and tier 4s available. They can easily plow through and destroy this, right? Carnage, 
I mean, we got a bunch of them already, right? So it's not really a, a big need for that unless you don't have any of those characters. But if you take any of those characters level 72, they'll be able to do this, especially at a certain amount of Pierce. And then when you go up, the ladder guys, like you can use them again in the mutant stage. But again, I mean, you got Namor, right? Uh, who can absolutely plow through this thing, right? You have Storm, right? Although a lot of people probably don't have her uh, paywall uniform. And then there's, of course, Jean, who can absolutely destroy this guy. And again, you don't need to have them at tier four. They can be level 80 or level 72 and absolutely do this, especially Jean. She can absolutely plow through this thing. And to be fair, so can these other mutants. So again, like his leadership would be really good. And he'll definitely be able to do this when he's level 80. But I don't think you're really going to need him for this, to be perfectly frank, guys. And when you go up the ladder, it's just, you know, because he's a mutant, right? And this is the same problem with magic, right? Well, where are you going to use these characters, right? I mean, we're getting way up here now. Where are you going to use them? Human, 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 right? I mean, it kind of sucks. And then when you go against Mephisto, right? You're going to run into the same problem. You know, you come down to the bottom. And yeah, and this is kind of what I was worried about, right? Stage 31, you can use superhero females, so you could use magic here, but... Again, guys, there's a lot of characters that can absolutely destroy this. I mean, Black Widow has a love lady. It's just going to be easy as hell with her, to be perfectly frank, guys. Sharon Rogers, a lot of characters can absolutely uh, destroy this. Shuri, Thena. I mean, there's a lot of choices already for that. But Black Widow actually has a love lady available, right? And yeah, I mean, you just run into this problem where you're not going to be really using these characters. You got Blast here, but I mean... Magic might be good for this, right? Uh, you know, Magneto can can do this, absolutely. But there's already Blast characters. I mean, you got Iron Man, guys. You got Blue Dragon. You got Storm. And, and granted, Storm, you know, you do need your paywall uniform, so that is something to keep in mind. But if somebody's thinking about Magic, that means they've already spent money or they're willing to spend money, so they might already have that Storm uniform, right? I mean, Magneto can be used here. I mean, you can definitely use him here if you choose to do so. But if you're just trying to do like those one clears every day, pushing world boss, you won't need them, right? You'll just use Iron Man. Iron Man's got a lot of great supports in here as well. So yeah, that's kind of the thing, guys. Like, you know, the tier fours, you know, because the materials are so hard to come by, you know, you always got to look at all the other tier four characters that are available. And like with tier three characters like Magic, they just got to be OP as hell. And to be perfectly frank with you guys, from the testing that I've done so far, she seems okay, but I haven't, I'm not really too impressed with her damage, to be perfectly frank. I really think that maybe PvP is where she's actually going to shine because whenever you level the character up, right? Right? Or whenever you get her artifact, this damn thing is nuts, right? I mean, it gives her guard break immunity. It, it, uh, she has the undead passive in this thing, right? And recovers 50% of heal after effect ends. This is what's going to make her really great in PvP, especially since she already has Ignore Iframe in her kit. This, and then Magneto's is, you know, increased target dodge rate and increased basic damage to boss types, which again is going to be really great for ABX and ABL, right? So it just, it looks to me so far, and by the way, let's take a look at Magic skills. By the way, Magic, they did a lot of great things for the character. I mean, they gave her some crazy stuff. She's got invincibility, which is nice, but 80% increase of all attack is awesome, right? They gave her a barrier, but they didn't give her any accumulation, which is uh, it's pretty interesting that they didn't queue that up. They gave her a decreased basic damage received, but no accumulation whatsoever. She has increased basic attack on her tier three, but honestly, for a, a paywall uniform like this, I mean, I mean, guys, you know, it's just $20, right? If you wait the week to get the extra 10 tokens, it's going to be about $20 to buy this thing and i just don't see the relevance in it right i mean like like she has increased basic damage super villains but it's only for herself right it's not really for anyone else i mean maybe you could use her in abx or abl right for blast mutant female i mean maybe you could use her for that but she doesn't offer really any support and i really think with that damn passive you know, she's going to shine because she has ignore iframe in her kit. She always has decreased damage received. So she'll probably get some kills in, I mean, maybe even timeline. I mean, we'll see how that goes. I mean, when you look at her HP pool, guys, it's not really that high. So, and granted, I don't have a lot of HP on my account, but I mean, you need a lot of HP these days in timeline to succeed. So 
she's going to need that, you know, artifact for sure to be able to push it. So not only would you have to buy the uniform, but you also have to get the artifact and you get a way out. You know, is it really going to be worth it? Right. And as far as her animations, I mean, they're gorgeous. Like her animations look awesome. You got a small delay cancel. Like you can delay the three and the four. You can delay the three right there once that uh, portal shows up. And her tier three is freaking phenomenal, by the way. Her two immediately does an attack. So it's not really recommended to use that before you try to land on the fifth skill. Her four, whenever she does that explosion, you can actually cancel the skill. And then the five is awesome. Look at this five. Right? And look at this. The portal opens up. You see the demon hands coming out. That is sick. That is freaking sick. I got to say, holy crap. Awesome, awesome animation. I love the blue. Love the demon hands coming out of the portal. That is awesome. And then you have her tier three, which is pretty wild, right? She jumps up, slams down in her alternate form. It's cool, right? She's... She's got some really good animations, but I really do question whether or not people are really going to need her and whether or not people are really going to want to level her up. I mean, again, you got to spend money in order to get this, right? So, I mean, you got one uniform that's full price. You got another uniform that you have to pay money for. And, I mean, Magneto, guys, obviously, because of the tier four, the level 80, he's going to end up being a blast villain meta in ABL and ABX. I can almost guarantee it, guys. There really isn't a lot of competition for him. In that aspect, you do have Superior Iron Man, but Superior Iron Man's uniform just isn't as good as his hero uniform. He just doesn't do near as much damage. It's actually a real pain to play, whereas this uniform is very easy to play, and I think he's just going to shine like crazy in ABL and ABX, and I really think that's where he's going to be relevant. And I really think that Magic, I mean, if you get her artifact, might shine in Timeline, you know? But how powerful will she be, guys? I mean, remember... Once that undead passive dies, I mean, she, once it, you know, passes over or exceeds the time limit, then she can die relatively easy because she doesn't have a, a lot of HP. So there's a lot, a lot to look at as far as these characters are concerned. And I mean, you know, like I said, Magneto damage is decent. And, you know, I'll do a video, guys, showing the damage of both of these characters. I do have magic at tier three. And let me know in the comments if you guys want to see these characters with you know, max builds. I mean, I got 180% proc already on Magic. And with Magneto, I mean, he's, he's kind of built like crap. But I do have, like, CTPs of Rage and so on for him. But I'm going to try to get his potential leveled up and, and see what happens then. But again, guys, the restrictions in World Boss Legend, if that is your concern, really hurts both of these characters. And again, I really think that Magneto is going to be ABL, ABX. And I think Magic, probably, maybe Timeline. There's a good possibility. Definitely AC. She's definitely going to be insane. So you're just going to have to ask yourself, is it worth it to spend $20 on Magic? Because she's not going to be that useful. And World Boss Legend, she might be good for ABL on Blast Female Mutant Day. That is a possibility. So let me know who you'd like to see a review of first. And let me know what you think about both of these characters, guys. And I do stream on Twitch at 9 p.m. to plus 7 time. The link is in the description below. And I hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you for watching. Y'all take care and have a good one. See everybody.